Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are viewing the American Optical Airman sunglasses. But first off, I do want to thank American Optical for setting these frames out for free for review. Now, they're not paying me to make this video or anything like that. They just sent me out a pair for free, uh, which is really nice of them. But with that being said, I'm going to try to keep this video as unbiased as I possibly can. I'm going to try my best to not let that affect me uh, with my review of these frames. Now, as far as dimensions go, these frames have 56 millimeter lenses in a 50 15 millimeter bridge and they have this really interesting style to them with these kind of squared off lenses and a droopy uh, top bridge bar and then a thick bottom bar as well it just looks really really interesting i haven't seen too many frames that look quite like this and personally i really do like the look of these frames on face i think they look really uh refreshing and uh definitely very interesting and a little bit bold as well just a really good uh, looking profile for a pair of sunglasses. Now, as far as the exact colorway that I have on for today's video, these have American Optical's light bronze frames, which look really good. I love the color, definitely pretty unique. And then they have uh, their color bar green lenses, which offer a really good uh, outlook as well, kind of very neutral and uh, very clear as well. Now, as far as the lens material here goes, these have American Optical's AO light nylon lenses, and uh, they are extremely light. These entire frames with the lenses come in at uh, 25 grams, so very lightweight, so you can wear these frames all day long without any discomfort. I would really love to see all glass lenses in these frames. I'm really disappointed that a lot of the newer American Optical releases don't have all glass lenses, and uh, it's just, it, it makes the frames feel uh, better quality. The optical quality is going to be better with all glass, and they're also going to have better scratch resistance as well with all glass lenses. Um, but that being said, because these frames are so lightweight, ever since I got them, I've been popping these on all the time because they're just very, very comfortable. So there are pros and cons, of course, to all glass lenses or nylon lenses, but I would just like the option for all glass lenses. But if it's all metal frame, it really wouldn't take much, just custom cut uh, all glass lenses and then easily insert them here where with some other frames from American Optical or other different companies, sometimes it makes sense why they didn't put all glass lenses because it's very hard to put, you know, glass lenses in nylon or other frame materials. Maybe the rim is really thin and you don't want to break the acetate. There's several reasons, but here with an all a metal construction, there's really no reason to not at least offer the all glass option. And I'm really not sure why they didn't with this frame. Uh, but that is a, a main complaint of these frames. I would like the option, even though I do love uh, these nylon lenses because of how lightweight they are and how that makes these frames extremely wearable uh, for all day long. Now, if we take a look at the top right corner of the frames, we can see a little etched American Optical logo there, which looks really nice, and that's there for authentication purposes. And then moving on to temples, there actually is not a little AO logo, but we do see these nice linear lines that go all the way down to these acetate uh, temple tips, which feel really good and they look really good as well. Uh, very shiny and nice. Uh, good, they have a very good high polish to them. And uh, these frames also do have fully adjustable nose rest. You can completely uh, bend these out and adjust them to your liking. So they're gonna fit the face very, very well. Now, if we take a look at the inner left temple of the frames, we can see they say American Obstacle on them. And then here in the inner right, we can see they say Airman, light bronze with the lens frame and dimensions here. Now, as far as lenses go, these are going to block 100% of UVA and UVA. UV rays, which is extremely important for your eye health. They also have a very nice anti-reflective material here on the backside, which is going to help reduce sunlight coming in and bouncing off the lens at an angle. They also do have a very nice oleophobic coating, which is going to help reduce uh, getting dirt or sweat on there and it makes it super easy to remove. And it's a pretty good coating here. I do like that. They also do have impact resistant lenses and they do have American Optical's scratch resistant hard coat as well. And of course, they're going to be lightweight because they do have these nylon lenses. So we definitely have some really good lens tech on this pair of sunglasses from American Optical. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, these frames are going to offer probably average coverage from sun. So here up top, we can see there is definitely a gap to let sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the sides, again, there's definitely a pretty big gap to let sunlight in unprotected. So not the best coverage, but that's not too surprising. With a pair of squared off aviator sunglasses, you're just never going to have the best coverage from the sun. 
Now, as far as pricing goes, these frames are going to run you $210 with non-polarized lenses, which is the lens that I chose for my uh, video. I personally do prefer non-polarized lenses, but they do sell them with polarized lenses for an extra $50, bringing the price to $260. And normally I would say that's pretty expensive, but considering the fact that a normal pair of Ray-Ban aviators now cost $173, it's not that unreasonable that American Optical is charging $210 uh, for these frames. Over the past three years now, we've seen sunglass prices absolutely explode due to inflation with the cost of the materials and the cost of manufacturing costs so much more than it did previously. So unfortunately, higher prices for eyewear is just kind of the new normal. But overall, I think it's a really good looking pair of frames. I really do like the styling. I think they look really, really interesting and classy and uh, they are very lightweight, like I said, so you can wear these all day long. And I have been wearing these all day long, actually. And uh, just a really interesting style here with the thicker lower bridge and uh, just a really fun pair of frames from American Optical. Well, let me know what you think about these frames in the comment section down below. Do you like them? Uh, do you hate them? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm very interested to know. And uh, that's all guy Friesen's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.